Easy. Surprisingly good, even though he looked crap. Already had three glasses of wine. Hand and nail treatment cream. I'll have the entire cabin uh, to myself. I don't actually uh, cross the Atlantic that often. So, uh, I was just a cabin manager. They're so considerate. Thank you very much, Air France cabin. So guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. Right now I'm at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. I'll be flying Air France to Montreal in business class on the 777. So let's see what it's like. And I just come back from uh, Toulouse where there was the event for Japan Airlines delivery of the very first Airbus A350. I also met Gordon from Airliner World and he actually was so nice and gave me one of his magazines. Um, they're quite big, they have really great stories um, and beautiful photos in here. Uh, that's actually what got my uh, passion for aviation started so if you ever disconnected for a little bit have a long-haul flight get your hands on one of those magazines really really great stories all right so now let's go to the gate flight time seven and a half hours so let's see what air france is all about So this is my plane, the Air France 777, but you just saw that the gate next door is Air Senegal's Airbus A330 NEO on a product I really want to try. Is that something you guys want to see on my channel? If so, I'm gonna make sure that there will be or that I'm going to fly Air Senegal uh, sometime this year. So let me know in the comment section below whether this is something you would be interested in. All right, and here I am. This is the business class seat on the 777. Uh, reversed herringbone configuration. Um, there's two parts. You have the front part of the cabin and then you have three rows um, after the first uh, door. And let me give you a quick little tour of this seat. And already at my seat, there was a hanger. Don't see that very often. A pillow and a blanket. It's got a reading light here, remote control and a little cabinet here with a mirror. And uh, this is where your noise cancelling headphones are and some decent storage space, I'd say. And you can close this. More storage space here. You've got the table, easy to release. Uh, your seat controls right there. USB, universal power outlet. And there's already a bottle of water ready for you to consume. Here, a uh, safety card is hidden in this little pocket here. And this is the screen right in front of you. There's a hook for your jacket or whatever. And this is how you release the screen. And there you go. I used to be a big fan of reverse herringbone configuration or seats. Um, but now since I've experienced a few more other products, um, I think this seat slowly becomes outdated. For now, this is it. Um, and I'm probably gonna see you guys after takeoff. So let me also give you a quick tour of the in-flight entertainment. Something I've noticed is uh, on my flight here that the screen is not too responsive. So it always takes a little bit and the loading times are actually a little long as well. But a lot of French movies, obviously a few international ones. It's not too overwhelming. Got some TV series this year as well, comedies, dramas. And then on top of this, this airplane is also Wi-Fi enabled. It got the antenna, but on my flight from Toronto to Paris, it wasn't working. So there was some technical uh, difficulties. So I'm not sure about this flight. If they do, I'm gonna try to connect and let you know how fast and how good it is and what the, what the fees are. So configuration-wise, this airplane features a business class. Um, and uh, there's no first class here, you know, the La, La Premier 
um, is only available on the 380 and um, the 777-300. Here you also find the economy, uh, premium economy cars and then obviously um, economy. So question for you guys, I've always wondered what this flying horse fish of Air France means. I have literally no idea. Is it like their old logo or something else? Um, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. cabin uh, to myself so time to check out the amenity kit and let's see what we have in here eye shades we have oh floss we have a pen toothpaste a comb earplugs a toothbrush hand and nail treatment cream very fancy lip misses lip balm moisturizes and quenches cooling gel like from the inside and yeah a nice a little compact amenity kit so um they started off with the drink service uh i go for some red wine uh, I must say the crew is very knowledgeable about the Rhine. We did a little bit of a tasting so far. Uh, crew is very nice. They're very um, engaging. Uh, with a big smile. Um, yeah, very enjoyable so far. Oh, and there we go. This is how um, it looks like with Air France. So they serve the starter, the dessert. Uh, so starter here, we have a salmon tatar, and then we've got the cheese and um, a salad. Which means um, once you finish the starter, they just replace um, it with the main. And uh, it's not like how you know it maybe from other airlines where they serve uh, the starter, then the main, then the dessert. Now it all comes on one tray, and uh, once you finish it, they will bring out your main. And uh, as that's what I say. Once the food arrives, turbulence is hidden. It's always the same. <laughs> just arrived we have the beef steak here with uh, some ravioli and filling here um, as another option there was um, a seafood a fish fish of the catch of the day and a mushroom risotto which I assume is the vegetarian option um, it looks a little blunt um, but I let me tell you the starter was amazing uh, the salmon tartar and um, also the salad spot on really nice the wine is also excellent and uh, now let's see what um, yeah what that beef steak is like it doesn't look very appealing and very welcoming but sometimes that can be a bit misleading so let's see so it wasn't quite a beef steak it was more of a beef, a beef stew and it was excellent, it was amazing, it was uh, juicy, it was full of flavor. And now, apart from this beautiful wine, France is also known for its um, amazing cheese. So I'm gonna have a try and see whether it lives up to its reputation. 
ounce of the cheese is um, just spot on. Very, very, very rich in flavor. And then also, we didn't like the crew. The crew is really looking after me, offering me more wine or another bun, which I really appreciate. I'm sorry for. I'm not going to finish my my cheese first. So and to round things up, um, a little bit of a dessert here, some sweets, um, as well as a coffee. Uh, and you probably noticed my blush. That is because I already had three glasses of wine. But it's what you do on a uh, French carrier, right? Delicious, absolutely delicious. Um, the, the starter was all right. The main was very, um, very su surprisingly good, even though it looked crap. Um, and um, also the dessert was wonderful, like super nice, super sweet. Went really well with the coffee. And yeah, also the crew is actually super nice and they're very engaging. And uh, they saw me every time they come here. I put the camera away because um, you know, privacy these days is sometimes a bit of an issue, but they were like, no, 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 keep on filming, that's nice, what are you doing, where are you from, um, where can we see this video, so a great approach also, um, that is a wonderful attitude to have, don't see the cam camera immediately as a threat, like, ask what is this all about, and um, I appreciate that a lot, thank you very much Air France cabin crew, that's wonderful. So I told you the seat on Air France 777 goes completely flat. So let me demonstrate to you what it looks like. So very easy, hit that button. So this is what it looks like once you go flat. Hey there. All good, all good. I'm just, uh, <laughs> and there you go. This is the, uh, I'm sorry quite busy here so this is the flat fat that uh, what it looks like um, I've flown on it before on my way from Toronto to Paris um, it is pretty spacious uh, also the padding is pretty nice the pillows are rather fluffy and big that's also cool and then on top you uh, get this blanket here uh, this blanket isn't too nice I used the second one but I think that's probably somewhere or some way they can improve but overall it's a fairly decent product for transatlantic airline um, looking at the european alternatives you have you have Lufthansa, the so-called five-star airline which doesn't even have diet all access uh, on their air, uh, on their business class uh, but it's pretty good i'll also say this is probably definitely much better than british airways club world um, but let me know in the comment section below what do you think is the best transatlantic um, airline in your opinion maybe it's an american carrier or you favor one of the uh, european airlines um, for me i don't really know because most of the time i travel to asia i don't actually uh, cross the atlantic that often so um, i would need to listen to your advice so let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite transatlantic airline so one more hour to go until we land in montreal and as you can see i literally have still the entire cabin to myself um, it was very much a feeling of a private jet um, after dinner I had a very good nap probably an hour and then I started working on my Japan Airlines review um, or not review but the delivery ceremony so check out the video right here and uh, also now it's time for me to sum up here my experience on Air France I'm um, considering that I didn't pay for the flight uh, Airbus did um, I found this busy here. You can go. Okay. I'm just filming myself. <laughs> and uh, oh, that's just a cabin manager. They're so considerate and so nice. I really like this. Um, yeah, Airbus paid for that flight because they invited me for this event. So um, 
it's really hard to tell. You don't have that feeling that you spend a lot and that you want something in, uh, in return. Um, however, me being a frequent flyer, I pretty much know what to expect from a product. And this was a very lovely experience. Uh, what stood out for me was the crew, uh, how proactive they were, and how they like told me about their uh, their frequent flyer uh, program because they saw in the system I wasn't signed up. I already am with Sky Team. I, I collect my points with Aeroflot on the Sky Team. And uh, yeah, food was great. Really loved it. It was a good dining experience. So, uh, I wasn't uh, expecting that. Uh, the seed, the hard product as such is actually... Very, you can go. <laughs> so, the, the, <laughs> they're so cute. Um, the seed is solid, solid, as I said. But now, as we advance uh, with all those new cabins, uh, the reverse herringbone configuration isn't what I would say the top. Uh, it used to be, it used to be the thing, but now, for example, EVA's seat or what Qantas has, more spacious, more room, more, more dynamic. I think this is where it, it, it's all heading. Uh, but still, it was a lovely flight. It was a great flight. It was a seven hour flight. So, um, uh, and I'm very happy. Yeah, as I would recommend Air France for a transatlantic flight um, because I had a very lovely experience. Uh, I wasn't outstanding or or anything mind blowing, but considering that this was a short transatlantic transatlant transatlantic flight, I was very very satisfied. So this is it. This is my Air France review here on the Triple Seven in business class. If you like it, if it was helpful, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like me. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of Air France? What was your experience like? I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who tried Air France. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And uh, as usual, wherever you're off to, or what do you plan, whatever you have planned, have a safe trip. And uh, don't forget to subscribe also. And have a great, great day. Thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated.